Hi everyone, welcome to Hindsight. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step process on how to make an online card using PowerPoint. Since we're in the Christmas season, we're going to be making a Christmas card today in this video. So let's head right into the video. I already have a blank slide on my screen. But since we want to create a new type of slide or card, we're going to go straight to File, New, Holiday. So we have different options, but I want us to choose a Cherry Blossom Nature, which has a very minimal style. This allows us to be more creative with what we want to do. I'm going to go ahead and delete the many slides that we don't need. So as you see, we already have a one slide and I'm going to use this one slide to create a one page card. First of all, I want us to change the size of this slide. I mean, I want to change the size of the slide. The good thing about using PowerPoint is that you can actually customize your card to, to just any style you want to express yourself in the way that you would like to. And that is why I just find it so useful. And it's also a fun process too. It doesn't take time. It's very easy to use. I'm just changing the height and the width of this slide to fit my taste click and maximize here i actually like this layout i think it's okay for what i want to create so i'm going to go ahead and change the layout clicking on picture with caption so i'm going to create a card that has a picture to the left and a message to the right and i want us to go straight to insert online pictures the good thing about using online pictures via PowerPoint is that it gives you access to so many uncopyrighted pictures. So I'm going to write Christmas. I'm looking for Christmas pictures. Let's look for one that suits my need, my taste. This one. Click on insert and here you have it. But it looks like the picture has already been cropped, but I want to go ahead and uncrop this picture to the actual size. I'm going to click on it. On the format page, you're going to see a drop down button. You click on it and then you have so many options. Go straight to the one that has the picture. Go to crop. Hmm. We don't have the options. We're going to go ahead and click on it again. Go back there and now we have it. So I want to increase the size to my, to the actual size. Here we go. I'm going to delete this that just says that it's a long copyrighted picture. I want to change the style of this picture. Hmm, what do we have here? Go to format, you have under pictures, styles you have so many different options here we go this you can go this you can go this way but i want this style Whew. so pretty and i'm going to go ahead and type in a message that i want you can type in any message that you want that is why i like this so much yes this is what i want my card to read but i actually want to change the size and the style of the font so i'm going to go here and type in let's say 47 type in edwardian script this is one of my favorite font styles that i like to use when it comes to designing cards click on bold Here we go. Bring this down. I want it to be bright indented. So right here. And then here, I want to type in 
wishing you a Merry Christmas. Changing the size to 12 and the style to Garaman, which is also another of my favorite fonts to use. Bold, shadow, here is the one page card I think it's pretty much how I like it I like where the picture is I like the size I think it's just as good as I wanted to so yeah here we go the next thing that you'd want to do is save this as a PDF file and then you can go ahead and print it out as a card using your home printer or go to any store nearby you to print it out. Um. Okay, did I forget to mention you can actually just send the online card the way that it is. You don't have to print it out if you don't want to. Printing it out is just another option, but you can just send the online card the way that it is. Christmas card one because we're going to make a second Christmas card change it to PDF and save voila and now we're going to create the second card so the second card is going to be more like a traditional card that you buy in the store it's going to have four pages the front cover the two middle pages and then the back cover so we're going to go back to file new and use a blank presentation for this Whoa, and then we're gonna add new slides three four so in the first slide I wanted the layout to be one with a title and then blank I'm going to insert a new online picture type in Christmas again There's so many options to choose from. It's like I'm going shopping or something. And as you can see to the right, I already have different design ideas. PowerPoint just does this thing where it just brings out new different design ideas, but I'm going to go ahead and ignore that because I want to create my own style. So let's create this. Send it to the back. Oh, I forgot. I want us to also change the size of the slide to be quite similar to the other one, to be a lot smaller and more portrait-like. So we're going to go back to the design, slide size, make it a little bit more custom. Let's make this 23, just like the last slide. 16 and maximize. Woo, here we go. So reduce this. And then here we're going to type in, going to make sure that the picture fits again. So now I'm going to go in and type in Merry Christmas. I also want to change the style and the size of the font. So I go back to home. I'll make this as big as I want it to be. Mm, pretty good. Expand this. Maybe a little bit more. Then change this to... Black leather. I like black leather. Yay! And then the last thing I would want to do is change the color of the font. Let's make this uh, more Christmassy green. Hmm. 
I like this green, but I want to be dark. Yes! So now we have the front page designed. I want us to go straight to the second page. We're going to change the layout and make it blank. Go to insert icons. Type in holidays. And now you have so many different pictures. So I'm going to choose the Christmassy ones. Ginger man, heart, stockings, um, this one's. So I'm going to go ahead and just like separate every one of them. Make sure they're all separate, different places. I mean, you can go ahead and do this however you want. It's just up to you to design your slide however you want it. I think something is actually missing. I want snowman. I want the snowman. So I'm going back to icons. Type in snow. Snowman. Here he is. Nice. And then I just put it here, I guess. I also want to reduce the size and change the color of the graphics. So I'm going to go here, click on red, and then just reduce the size of this tiny. Yep. And then I'm going to separate them a little bit further. I think this is pretty much okay. <laughs> and now we're done with the first middle page and then to the second middle page we want to write our content our message here so we want to go back to layout make this just one and type in our message go so bring that down put it in the middle and dent it to the middle I also want to change the size and the font style to be the same as the front page. So this page is complete. And then the last page. I want to go back to the layout. Just need one box there. Go back to insert, online pictures. Typing Christmas again. Just what I want. Remove that. Change this. Change the size to be smaller. Right in the middle. Type in Merry Christmas. I want this to be. Garamond in style, 12 in size, bold, shadow, um, I want this to be red, I want to put this right at the bottom of the card to the left. And our card is complete. We have the front cover, the first middle page, the second middle page, and then we have our back cover page. We want to go ahead and save this as a PDF. So this is the second card. Oh. And then this is the first card. Like I said, you can just go ahead print this out at home or you know go to whatever store nearby you that prints out cards and you can print it out as a card and send it out you can actually send the pdf as it is you can just email it to whoever you want to send it to you don't have to print it you can also use the same format that i've shared to create whatever card you can use it to create birthday cards 
posters and so many other things i hope you found this video helpful and i will see you in my next video please don't forget to like share and comment and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell for future uploads if you found this video helpful and i will see you in my next video bye